Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your 2023 reading for the first quarter, January through March of 2023. We're going to do the Celtic Crosshair, Pisces. We're going to see what energies are available to you, what potential energies are present, and what you can possibly do with them. And we're also going to see if there's anybody coming in for love, if there's anything about career or anything else spirit wants to share with us. So Pisces, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Pisces. I appreciate it. And don't forget to comment. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, there is information on yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. Uh, you can find uh, various readings there to choose from. You can also join me every day, every night around 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do readings there, little mini readings, questions for 777, either in Super Chat or PayPal. And then I do daily readings after those questions are complete. So Pisces, you have a lot of questions, I'm sure. So we are going to start with your center card here. And it is the Hanged Man. This is your card, Pisces, the Hanged Man. This is your overall energy. I'm hearing losing something. What are you losing? Okay. I'm getting valuable time, valuable information. So things are value. You feel like you may be losing. So you're trying to regain your balance here. I actually want to gaze into this card. I card gaze Pisces and sometimes the cards, well, usually the cards give me a message. Okay. So I want to see what the hangman has to say. Okay, I'm getting this like through the head. I can actually see the clouds on the other side. So, and the clouds sort of formed this bird, right? Birds are messengers from the heavens. So I feel like there's messages internally within you. Okay, it's not on the outside of you, it's actually within you. And I feel like it's your higher self. And I say that because it's coming from the head area, right? And your higher self is right there, right? Right above the crown chakra. So I feel like your higher self is trying to let you know something. And for whatever reason, you're not listening. And I feel like the listening... And it's not like you're you're purposely not listening, Pisces. I feel like you're just focused on what you think you lost. Okay, something of value here that you're not you're not lined up with that information yet. So let's see what else is here. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Hierophants. Ah. So you're doing a lot of introspection here about this, this thing of value. It could be multiple things as well. Now, this could have to do with a commitment. This could have to do with love relationship, money. Tradition. And I'm getting what is written. They're pointing out the book. So there's something in, in, ooh, this has to do with that message. Something is written. Maybe that's what you're needing to hear. 
and it could have to do ah see you're looking in the wrong direction i feel like you're trying to find it with the hermit all right but i feel i i also feel that you're looking in the wrong direction i'm not sure what that means like you would think that if you're in hermit mode and you go within you'd be able to hear this message for whatever reason it, it something is blocked and, and I do feel it has to do with you lining up with this information. Ten of Wands. Whatever this information is, this is a huge transformation. This information will transform your life, will transform you. And cleanse you. Wow. Okay, what's crossing you here, very interesting, is the nine of uh, vessels. This is your challenge, right? So I feel like, and notice the goat is looking out, right? Is looking out into the future. And it's like you're trying to see from a different perspective, which is always good. But you can't quite find it. That's your challenge to find your desires, your true desires. Because you may sit there and say, I know what I want, right? I want A, B, C, D. But there's something else. There is some other desire that you keep looking for. This is a desire for love with the sun. So this is your challenge. And you're being guided here too. And this is part of that message, possibly, because this is an angel. Or this could be in addition to that message, because temperance is trying to guide you in the right direction. Temperance. Yes, so you can manifest as above, so below. Gemini energy. So there's a truth. It is written. There is some sort of truth that you need to find. Well, it's not even about finding. It's hearing it. Right? Now, it could be that something that needs to be healed is the block. All right? So let's dig in a little bit deeper here. Pisces. In your subconscious, you have the four of vessels. Now, this talks about holding down your emotions not releasing something that is very very heavy there's now remember elephants don't forget so there's something you're not forgetting there's something that that is holding these emotions down and it may have to do with your foundation it may have to do because it is four right so there's something in your subconscious that's holding your emotions down and it's like your desire for new love is present, but there's a nervousness. There's a fear. There's a fear of loss. So while you, almost like a hope and a fear, you're hoping for love, but you're fearing loss of, of it. So it keeps you off balance. It keeps you holding down emotions. It keeps your heart guarded. But this love wants to push forward to the conscious. It's you're not forgetting. It's like you're making sure that your emotions don't forget. Because, I mean, when you think about letting something go, right? It's not even like you're letting go of the memory because you'll always remember. But you let go of the hold that that memory has upon you. You let go of that. So it's the emotion that you're letting go of that's no longer needed. Right? But you're not doing that. You're not allowing just the memory of it. You're, you're keeping the emotion attached to it down, thus blocking you and your, um, your path to true love. Right? Hang on. Hang on, Ted. All right. So what's going on in your past? What happened? We have the Knight of Pentacles, Pisces. So let's see 
something was slow going, but that's not a bad thing because the Knight of Coin is very slow, but slow and steady wins the race. So let's see what you were going towards. Manifestation, the Magician. Ah, so I feel like there's something that you got very excited about, Pisces. This could have been a love relationship, right? This could have been something that you were passionate about, a job, right? And I feel like you were working slowly towards this, okay? You knew this was going to transform your life. Maybe you had to end a part of your life to begin something new. So we have the Empress here. Now, this could be that you were slowly moving towards this empress. Could be a fire sign. Could have been a fire sign. Either because the knight of staffs is coming on top of this. So either a fire sign or a Taurus or a Libra. What did you manifest? Ooh. The moon was something, the Ten of Vessels. So there was happiness in your past. There was emotional fulfillment in your past, right? But it could have ended because of something that was hidden with the moon card. Okay, so this becomes a fear. This becomes a fear of losing it over here in your subconscious. So in your future Pisces, you have the Ace of wants. Now this talks about going towards passion, right? Going towards love in a very passionate way. Clarifying this is the eight of wands or eight of um, fire, the king of swords and the wheel of fortune. So something is fated for you. And I feel like it has to do with some sort of decision you make to go forward uh, in a passionate way towards something. Okay, be careful of putting out your flame, though, because in this Eight of Wands in this deck, this Eight of Fire, there's only seven fires lit, if you count them. And that eighth fire is down here. It is a wand that you cannot see in the picture, right? So be careful of putting out that flame, putting out your fire by putting too much work into it. In this deck, this, this man is looking like he's working hard. So not only is... He working at something passionate, but he's, I feel like he's overworking. So be careful about that balance. The Wheel of Fortune sometimes, you know, can, you know, scream balance, right? This wheel itself, balance. Actually, almost yin-yangy, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of decisions that you're going to need to make as far as your passions go. And it's interesting that the King of Swords is here. You may have an air quality to you, but I feel like it has to do with your subconscious here. Holding, not forgetting, right? But holding down those emotions. So it's like whatever it is that you're passionate about, you're working with this passion in your mind and not necessarily your emotions. Passion, yes, but emotion why not emotion because you need to be open and vulnerable to those energies okay so i feel like this wheel of fortune what's faded for you is going to come to you and be more successful okay uh more lucky right wheel of fortune is jupiter it is luck if you open your heart if you are more vulnerable now i'm not saying your heart isn't open but what I am saying is it could be open more, <laughs> okay? So just try to let go and feel balanced uh, while you're going after whatever it is that you're going after, okay? So in your near future, you have the Six of Wands. So you're going to be getting a lot of attention, hell of a lot of attention, Pisces, from others. And if you're going after something... Uh, you can claim victory because you're being seen for it, all right? Very confident energy. This is actually going to be very healing for you. Ooh, Seven of Swords, the Devil, 
and the star. So I feel like whatever strategy you had at achieving this goal uh, is successful. I don't feel like it was sneaky. I feel like it's just something that you maybe did secretly or on the down low, right? And I feel like this is material manifestation with the devil and it somehow is very healing for you. It somehow is cleansing. So I like seeing this. This is a very good thing. It somehow is putting out these flames to your wounds, okay? It's a release. I'm feeling a release of the energies that need to be released. Maybe this is what is needed for you to open your heart more, okay? So what's influencing you in the back of your mind is the king of uh, vessels. So you want to open your heart. You want to love. You want to, and I'm talking romantically, you want to be open to others. All right, now with the whale, I'm hearing Akashic Records. Now the whale can sometimes signify the past for me. So, hmm, this holding back of your emotions here could be connected to a past life. Let's see. All right, so you have the Queen of Staffs, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Huh. All right, so there is that resistance. In this card, this is resistance for me, the Seven of Fire. So it's coming right below the King of Vessels. So there's a resistance to the overflowing of emotions. And there's more of a focus on putting this passion towards work. Okay? Towards whatever it is that you're victorious about. This is what's going on on the inside. Okay, I don't want to. I'm going to resist these emotions, right? Romantically speaking. And I'm just going to take this energy because I feel like the Queen of Staffs is you and put it towards my passions. So what's influencing you on the external is the Nine of Pentacles. So it could be a Virgo that's influencing you um, or an Earth sign in general. But I, I feel like it's more talking about what you've created, right? This abundance that you've created. Uh, this stability that you're rooted in, that you've rooted yourself in. This is what's influencing you. And I was just going to say, this is so funny. You've got the Emperor, the Chariot, and the Ten of Swords. Okay? And I was just going to say, as I was saying, the Queen of Staffs is you, that you are the Emperor or the Empress. And this is why you're showing up like the King of Swords, the Queen of Staffs. Okay? Um, and you have the Empress over here. So it's like, what's influencing you is moving forward, yes, right? Claiming victory at manifesting whatever this is, materially speaking. All right, but putting an end to something. What is this? Ah. Okay. Like I was saying before, whatever it is that you're manifesting, that you're victorious over, that you're getting a lot of uh, attention for, is very healing. And this is what's happening here. I feel like you're becoming aware of it. I feel like because of that, you're beginning to listen to your intuition, which is the little birdie on your shoulder, right? The messengers from the heavens. And adding that feminine aspect, thus connection to your heart space and allowing that heart to pull you forward, allowing the divinity within that heart space to pull you forward and raise you up. Notice the chariot is lifted off the ground, right? So it's like you're, you've got liftoff, right? Looking to the past and standing in the flames of those wounds, right? And recognizing the wounds that are present, right? 
but appreciating why the, why they're present and who you've become because of them. So that way you can walk through those flames and you can put this behind you and end this once and for all, right? And I feel like this is opening up those emotions. This is opening up that heart. So in your hopes and fears, Pisces, you have the two of wands. Hmm. All right, I'm getting and two become one in the two, right? In the two of wands, because you're moving forward. But notice this little Geico, whatever this is, is looking towards the past, right? It's like the two of wands are going forward. The little red Geico <laughs> is looking towards the past. So I feel like your flame of action, your flame of passion is moving forward while saying goodbye to the past. The, the past has become less significant if you look at the size, right? <laughs> size matters here, Pisces. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist saying that. So the Knight of Vessels, the Lady of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So the Knight of Vessels, the Eight of Swords, the Lady of Swords, I feel like you have a hope of pushing past the pain, of pushing past the past, right? Of finding your new soul song, of either accepting or offering your heart, opening up your heart, being more vulnerable, right? But then you're fearing this vulnerability. You're fearing moving on. Because even though you're moving on, you can tell you've achieved something, right? You're getting attention with the six of wands. It's like your heart hasn't moved on. And this is what you're fearing here. Everything else has moved on. But your heart hasn't fully moved on. And this is that hope and that fear. So your, and I just heard release, this is your result, but this is your release, right? This is your raising up. This is your calling. So it's that big aha moment to what needs to be released. There's finally growth that's sprouting up from the death. Uh, of the past, right? So I feel like you're giving life to your soul again. Okay. Yeah. Hi, priestess, right? Listening to that intuition. Listening, finally listening and getting what you've been waiting for, opening up of the heart space. Right, even though this is a pentacle, she's appreciating. She's opening up her heart. She's appreciating what's in front of her. Okay, it, this pentacle is less important than this bountiful live harvest, right? Of just nature, right? So, this is what's happening. This pentacle is becoming less significant for you because now your heart is opening to what's in front of you and you're appreciating it, okay? Because you're connecting, you're connecting Pisces and that's beautiful. I wanna get one more. Yep, this is gonna bring you a sense of peace, okay? This is going to add to your dreams, I believe with the seven of vessels because that is you you are the dreamer so i feel like it's almost like you find your dreams once again because you're a water sign and that water was was missing there was a piece of that water it's like that vessel wasn't filled to the rim wasn't filled up now that it is you can get back to dreaming right as you were and 
opening yourself up to receive those dreams, to receive those manifestations of those dreams, Pisces. And that is beautiful. So let's get some advice here, Pisces. Betty Bear. I'll be with you in one moment. All right. So movement, reclaim, and get wild. Ooh, get wild, Pisces. Do something crazy, like go out, and I feel like it's like go out and have fun for a caution to the wind. You need to keep your emotions moving, all right? So not only your body moving, not only your mind moving, your emotions moving. And I want you to be aware of those emotions moving. Reclaim who you are. Get out of this stuck position. And in a way that you can do that is by being aware of your emotions being conscious of your heart, right? So putting your hand on your heart actually works. If you do that for even 10 seconds, it's like you get connected back to the self, okay? So beautiful Pisces, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have not If you're interested in a reading, please go to yoursacredscribe.etsy.com. And I'm also live every day, usually around 9, 10, uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time, although a little late today, I had to finish up these readings. Uh, and I answer questions if you have them and also do daily reads afterwards. So you have a fantastic first quarter of 2023 and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily, monthly, and yearly dose of Love Tarot. Namaste.